Good afternoon, everyone. Well, today we have a different case. We have this modulator. This modulator was bought by a customer at our shop. You know, if you are in electronic repair business, most of the electronic repair businesses, they are also selling like uh, electronic accessories. So what we are doing here, we are not just uh, offering services like fixing things. We are also selling like uh, phones, laptops, and, uh, and all other electronic accessories. So the customer came in to the shop, bought this modulator. Two hours later, the customer came back. You sold me a fake modulator. This is just a Bluetooth modulator. You know those car, a wireless car charger, modulator, whatever you call it. That the one is still in box, it's still new. He just went out for two hours. He came back. You sold me a fake product. I need my money back. What do you do? Hmm? Explain. What do you do? The customer went out with the device. You tested the device was working. Two hours later, he came. You know, sometimes that's where you you have to to understand few things. Of course, we tested this was working before, but two hours. You can't just buy a modulator and two hours, after two hours it went off. So I explained to the customer, you know what, maybe something fault or there's a minor issue. And uh, just give me time. He said, you know what, I'm in a hurry. I'm giving you all just one hour. Either you rectify the, the, the issue or you return back the money. So we don't have time here. We don't have time. That the modulator that you sold to the customer together with the remote. So, how this modulator is working, from my own understanding, when you plug in the modulator on the, on the car, there must be some voltage there. 12 volts which is coming from the battery to power on this modulator. So it's inputting 12 volts here. I believe this is the minus, this is the plus. And uh, at some stage inside, uh, we have like a regulator or, uh, yeah, we can call it, it's being regulated and we have five volts here on the screen to light up the screen and to for the USB ports. Hmm? So the 12 volts is just converted to five volts. That's what I know about this modulator. So without wasting time, the power supply is on 11 point. Let's lower the current to one amp, around one amp. What I want to do, let's connect the power supply, minus here, the plus, and it's not taking any current. At this point, the modulator must turn on. At this point, the modulator must turn on, but this one is not turning on, it's not doing anything, it's dead. Okay, fine. So, how do I get inside this? Hmm? We do have a fuse here. Let's check the fuse together. We do have the fuse here. And the fuse is gone. The fuse must be like this. So this fuse is blown up. And now the question is, why the fuse blown up? Hmm? Why did this fuse blown up? Let me look for, for 
another fuse. We must have those fuses. This is just a common fuse. If I can get one. Oh, I found another one. Huh? I found another fuse. Because we are selling these modulators on daily basis. So this fuse, this fuse is good. And this fuse is bad. So let's put another fuse. Just a fuse, huh? Huh? Just a fuse. What a luck. What a luck, Jay. Maybe it's just a fuse. Who knows? No? Even with the fuse, it's not working. Huh? Even with the fuse, it's not working. It's not. Okay? So, it's not about the fuse here. I was happy that is only the fuse. Let's see how we can get inside this. It's very simple. Yeah, this is some kind of boring stuff. Let's disconnect this board. I think I just seen something. We disconnected. These are two wires which are coming for the 12 volts input. Let's go on a microscope and check this board together. That's the board. What do you think about that diode? Huh? Maybe it's me who is not seeing clearly. But I think this diode is blown up. SS14. SS14. Huh? SS14. This is just an external diode. Okay. SS14. SS14. I believe this is just a surface mount a scorch rectifier diode. That's what I think. Yeah, this this is a rectifier diode. So this this diode is the on the is on the output and it's blown up. Let's check the diode. And the diode is gone. This diode is gone. So you understand why the fuse blown up? The fuse blown up after we have, we have missed this, this guy. Check this diode. You can hear the beep of the multimeter. So that is the problem. That is our problem. Huh? Where can I find this diode? So it's not about the fuse. Oh, I found a board with so many diodes. Hmm? Let's check. Are we able to find the diode here?
That's something new. What do you think about this, Jared? Hmm? SS14. I would like it just to find a diode. We found something. Hmm? And the diode is good. So, let's replace the diode. Huh? Let's replace this diode quickly. Okay. Let's replace that diode. We are now taking out the diode. You can see the diode has got a hole on top. This diode is now in place. So our diode is now in place. All what we need to do is to see if it's now working. Uh, the board is too small. I'm just checking for short. No, it's not shorted. Yeah, the board is just cooled down now. So what we need to do, let's put back those wires for the 12 volts input. Let's put back those wires, minus and plus. Yeah, you can't see clearly why. Well, this is a very small board. But what I'm doing, I'm just reconnecting those wires which you took out. Which you took out from this end. So, do you think we now have a working modulator? Hmm? Do you think this modulator is now working?
and we need we need a fuse which fuse is good let's check out the right fuse here come on stay here Ah, uh, that's the right fuse. So, you know, sometimes if you are in this business, it's very common. It's very common. That's why it is good just to know how thing works. Because sometimes you will be left with no option except to refund back the customer. So minus, you see these wires and plus on the sender. And it's working. Huh? Check there. It's working. Huh? It's working. I'm sure in order to change, I have to connect it on the car. And this will connect to the car radio so that you can do all the changes. But we now have a working modulator, you see? I plug in the 11.12 volts and it's taking, it's taking 20, 20 milliamps, 19 milliamps, 21 milliamps. And the the screen is on. So I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. But we are I'm happy we managed to save the customer. You know, if you are in a business, such kind of things will happen. The customer will buy a phone in the next few minutes, the phone is not even powering on, or the laptop or anything. You must have at least knowledge of how you overcome a situation. In our case, our money is saved to return back to the customer. If you fail to fix this to or to bring this, it's a loss to the on the company because uh, either you give him another one or you return back the money. So that's the thing. So if you have none, if you have modulator and the modulator is not working, check those simple things. You know, this is a, how much is this? This here in Zimbabwe, the modulators they are going for like uh, four to five dollars. But uh, if I'm to return that four to, or five dollars to the customer, I say, Lord, was at the end of the day. That little amount will count. But to some countries, probably they throw away in the bin, they'll buy another one. But here in Zimbabwe, we, are, we, are, we can't do that. We can't do that. If there is someone who is in Zimbabwe, understand what I mean. So see you on the next game. Bye.